Hello, it's me, Jackie. Still hooking in no company. But last night we had a very nice Zoom with all, no, not all, but with many of the people who were going to the Stitch Fest in uh, Toronto, which actually was going to begin yesterday. And yeah, some people that even weren't going to come, but we had 22 um, people. And maybe there were some guys, husbands popping in on the sides here and there. And it was very nice to see everybody. Hi, everybody who was there last night. Hi, special hi to Sigal, who I just met, who lives an hour and a half drive from me. So uh, that's a new, hopefully, maybe a new friend. I don't know. And it's uh, nothing's new. <laughs> Except that we had a nice Zoom. Nothing's new. Uh, so let's go into what uh, what we got to show you. I decided that uh, not making any more shawls because I could wrap the earth in shawls. shawls. Got enough shawls to, too many shawls. I don't know what to do with them. I did wear one. I was cold last week and that purple one that I made with Karen Kid, Karen uh, Big Cakes, that lacy shawl, very nice. I wore it. I kept it on all day. Didn't itch, didn't hurt. Very nice. Kept me warm. Meantime, I made a, um, a baby, I'm, so point is I'm only making baby blankets now, that's it. So I made a nice C2C and I just used one pound of Karen, uh, uh, what, what is it, one pound, Karen one pound, and it made all of it and then I just have this nice little triangle, which I quite like because it makes it a bit, um, obtuse I guess and I put a nice little border around it very simple so that it doesn't buckle up you do it's um, a block stitch you do three and two three and two because if you do three 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 it will ripple and make a rippled edge so this lays nice and flat and it's a baby blanket 34 inches square I like it very nice very cute just need a baby by the time we get out of here as I said we're going to need more babies so that's this one and then today I was looking at, um, I don't know what her name is, Blossom Crochet, UK, very nice. I like her, I like her work. So she was doing a V-stitch and I said, I'm doing a V-stitch. And here is my V-stitch. And I know you say, oh, that's not a baby blanket. But what I'm going to do is that's from the mysterious uh, Turkish yarn that I have. So the gray will be the, um, what do you call it, color? The continuing color and then I have all of these which will uh, break up the gray so you have all of those and here's like a little stripe of blue it's a little bit inspired by what's her name again I dropped my hook doesn't matter by Zines and Robbins uh, Z oh. Rosina it's inspired by her because she has nice uh, divisions of colors when she makes things Rosina from Zines and Roger. That's that. That's all I have on the hook, because uh, that's all I have. Because everything else was finished last time. Uh, so, um, I'm not so crazy about all of the tags that are going around or all these things, but there's a funny one that I saw Ella from No Catchy Name uh, answering. Uh, the Bad Squad one I didn't do because uh, I, don't, I don't do it. And uh, this is the, called the boredom tag. And I said, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> because like everybody else, I could use some, got nothing else to kind of share in terms of yarn and stuff. I did look at Lion Brand today and I did put a few balls of yarn in the basket. And when that goes on 40% off, maybe I will have to just buy the roving, the Mandela roving and the uh, Mandela tweed. It's really just seven mm, cakes of yarn. And it's still a maybe. I have to see if it's 40% off or not. Okay. So there was this tag. And then there was another funny tag about what's your favorite snack food. And I say, okay, I can just flip everybody out. I have a, I don't have such a great stomach. I don't, uh, eating is always not, uh, I love to eat, of course, but it always has a, it, it don't do good by me. I, uh, I eat and then it hurts, basically. I don't know what I got. All kind of stuff now from the news from a certain part of the news certain of the press briefings I'm getting an ulcer I think thank you uh, 
White House Press Coronavirus Task Force crazy people. So, uh, uh, eating has become a little bit of a problem. Maybe I'm losing weight, which isn't so all that bad. But to counterbalance that, the snack foods that I like to eat, um, mm, it's either oranges, because we have the best oranges in the world here. And if you live in California, you live in Florida, you know what the best oranges in the world are. These big, juicy oranges you can drown when you bite them. So we got those also, because this is... Uh, there's a land of oranges here. So you have oranges and banana is always good for you. And the fruit here is really fabulous. It's delicious uh, fruit in this place. But then there's one thing that, um, uh, there's one really terrible thing. I used, I loved uh, Hershey's uh, chocolate bars and I love those Hershey's with almonds those thick ones and the last few times I was in the state they stopped with the thick ones and they just have these useless thin uh, cheap uh, not very good Hershey's chocolate and I know it's the least sophisticated chocolate and I have all the sophisticated chocolate I want being in Holland and Belgium and all these chocolate places and Switzerland and all that but home is home somehow, and that Hershey's has always stayed in my, um, in my, what do you call it, my nostalgia and in my mouth. So, uh, hi Rose Lex Crochet, uh, we went to shopping one night and, uh, to a supermarket and we were buying stuff and okay, we bought Hershey's Kisses, which is quite close, same chocolate, same taste. But when we came back here and we were buying emergency food, you cannot believe what I found in this country. I was so surprised to find it. And it's really obscene. It's really obscene. Especially that I bought five of them. <laughs> this is a one pound enormous Hershey bar. It doesn't have the almonds, but screw it. It's so thick. It's so delicious. This each square is um, rather <laughs> indicative yeah, and it's proportioned to this size. <laughs> and it's yummy. You can only eat a square um, every two nights, <laughs> which is okay. And even Jan likes it. So yesterday or two days ago, I found that it not only had it in the fast supermarket, but it also had it in the closed supermarket. And they know me in that closed supermarket. So I immediately put two in my bag and paid cash fast. And then I took a third one that, yeah, no, I'm buying the Hershey. <laughs> to look at the size of this thing. It's enormous, it's a pound. A rose likes crochet, if you, I don't know, I don't know if you want this one or if you like the fancy chocolate, but it is real good. It's like a really, it's just good. And the rest of it is, and when you eat this with an orange, it's also quite delicious. So those are those, what, but there was a tag about junk food. I can't eat a lot of junk food, but this is the one that I can eat. Mmm, I love it. And if my sister sees this podcast, she's going to shoot me. I just came off walking on the walking machine because we have a gym outside in our veranda um, thing that you never saw. But okay, this is, I don't know how, how long, I don't know what I'm doing, but let's do it and we see what happens. But if Andrew Com Cuomo comes on, I have to stop. So I don't know really what I'm doing. Maybe we have part two. Let's go. Catch it. This is the boredom tag, which is a, it was a fun one. Ketchup on a hot dog. So. Life started mustard on a hot dog. I'm from New York. You have a hot dog, you have mustard. However, in Chicago, they put everything on a hot dog. And then you get used to everything on a hot dog. So it's mustard and ketchup and uh, relish and pickles and onions, I think. And that's really delicious. So you don't put mayonnaise on that, of course. And I wouldn't ever put ketchup alone, but ketchup and mustard on a hot dog is uh, the Chicago way to go. Hi, Chicago. Hi, my sister. Hi, Rose. Hi, Carrots. Hi, everybody. Well, we had uh, we had a lot of hot dogs in Chicago. Choice of soda. That would be regular soda water, or a.k.a. Seltzer, uh, Perrier, uh, Pellegrino. I don't like 
Occasionally we need a Coke, but the Coke is only when you're eating hummus and falafel, because, and that's for breakfast, so it's a very strange breakfast, which I can't eat anymore, since until my stomach gets better, you have hummus, you have falafel, you have salads, and you have Coke, but that's like a recipe that everybody eats here. Can you swim? Yes. I can swim. I learned how to swim when I was five. When I went to camp, I know how to swim. I don't know how to do the butterfly stroke, but I can swim and breathe and turn my head and do, I can save myself from water. I'm just looking to see if my buddy Andy Como is on there. Hot dogs or burgers? I think absolutely hot dogs. I love hot dogs and being married to a Dutchman, we like anything in that shape, uh, <laughs> including the Dutchman, but we like anything that's uh, worst or sausages or things like that because that's Germany and Holland and um, even France with their saucisson and things like that. Okay, uh, favorite type of food? I don't like those favorite questions because it's like favorite color. You can't have a favorite. It limits you. It's too committing. There's a lot of good food. I like sushi. I like Chinese food. I like Mexican food. I can't, how do you commit to favorite kind of food? I can't even say Hershey's is my favorite kind of food because you can't live on it. If I had to, uh, I love Japanese food. I really like Japanese food, but favorite? Would I live on it? Would I go on a desert island with Japanese food? I don't know. So uh, what do you drink in the morning? Oh, I love to drink coffee in the morning, but now with the stomach story, I'm drinking tea. And uh, it's a, I, I love that cup of coffee, and we have really good coffee. In Holland here, we have just kind of... I got a sign here. I got to move it. It's making me nuts. Okay. Uh, can you do 100 uh, push-ups? Absolutely not. I can walk 25 minutes on 2 degrees at 50 speed on my walking machine, and that's okay. Favorite season? Hmm. Do I have a favorite season? Yeah, I think I like the summer. I love that burning hot and the complaining and the watermelon. It all kind of comes together. So... Yeah, I like, I don't like cold, and I don't like coats, and I don't like all that stuff you gotta wear when you're too cold out. Favorite hobby? Now it's uh, it's all kind of things, because, you know, my work is my hobby, and my hobby is my work, so the theater, and the crocheting, and the sewing, and the junk journals, and all, my life is a hobby. So, uh, I, I, I like, I love to crochet, I'm crocheting all the time. If uh, I like to paint, I like to uh, make stuff, I like to make props, I like to glue. I just found my glue gun, and so I'm a. It's my job. It's my job. Uh, tattoos. I don't want to be judgmental about tattoos. If you have a tattoo, okay, uh, I don't relate to them. I don't want one. My uncle, who was a biker, he had a tattoo uh, when he was in the army, and this is like, what, he's 80 now? So when he was a teenager, he was a biker and, you know, one of those um, jets. <laughs> he was a, I don't know if he was a bum, but he was a Navy biker, tough guy on a motorcycle with a black leather jacket, and he had tattoos, and we loved him. He had a Jaguar and a bracelet and all kind of things. I don't like what's going on now with the tattoos. I don't know. I don't understand it. And I don't, again, if people like them, um, that's Arabic, which means go to it. I don't like it. I would never do it. I have nothing in the world that I love that much that I would permanently do it on my body. And I look at them all the time and I say, why? But okay, each to his own. So do what you want. Do you wear glasses? No. I don't wear glasses. <clears throat> I wear two kind of glasses. I have very good sunglasses, very good because I have something wrong with my eye. And then I have these things because I, I also got something wrong with my eyes. So now I wear glasses, didn't always wear glasses. Afraid of heights, I don't know. I'm afraid of elevators, so I think that's the thing it's, I'm afraid of heights. But you get used to heights. So if you go up and you kind of hold on, Eventually, you will get used to it. I don't like being up there, but if I have to do something dangerous to save my life, I guess I'll do it. Uh, a nickname. Yeah, I got a bunch of nicknames. So there's of all the versions of Jackie, Jax, Jackson. 
Then there's the Arabic one, which is like Imarish, which means featherhead, and Imifitili, which means uh, the wick that burns at both ends. And, um, uh, and I have some nicknames. Rain or snow? Snow. Because Holland has the most abhorrible rain that I can't stand rain anymore, unless it's really going to be torrential. But we don't have torrential rain in any of the lands I live in. Israel has big, fat raindrops, but they don't come a lot. And Holland has constant drizzle that can really like the Chinese water test. So snow, love snow, and haven't seen enough of it, really. Even though I like hot, I still like going to places where there's like a pow of snow and you can like get the whole world gets quiet and white and fabulous. Favorite flower, don't know, don't care. I'm not even, you know, the Dutch all love flowers. They all know their flowers. They all bring flowers. It's the world of flowers there. And I, they, they look nice on the table. It's nice when someone brings them to you, but I'm not, I'm a New Yorker and I'm in heart somehow. So we're not big on flowers. Can you drive a stick? In this country, uh, you learn on a stick. So I only knew how to drive a stick. Then I had to learn how to drive an automatic. And that was a bit of tricky. But um, we have a car in Holland that's a stick. And we have a car here that's automatic. So I don't care. They're both equally the same. Did I ever go skydiving? No. And it's one of the things I'm most terrified ever about doing. And I was thinking... Yeah, you can go with a teacher and he can hold you and hug you and you can jump. And it's one of those challenges that, mm, yeah, if he's holding me and hugging me and we're going to land and I'm not going to crash into a million pieces, it's scary. I don't want to go flying out of a plane. Interesting, but kids know. Loads of little children friends. I have a lot of um, little kid friends. And I've raised them, some are 35 now, <laughs> some are 20, some are still <laughs> two and three. But uh, I love all the kids because I don't have any, so I have the luxury of loving them. Ah, favorite color. Okay, favorite color. Love dark red, but love all the colors. I can't, it's again, I do love dark red, but you need all colors. You can't just have a life of dark red. So... Beach house or lake house? Lake house. Absolutely lake house. Never thought of it, but lake house. Yeah, nice house on a lake and nobody to drive you crazy and you can run around naked and you can... Ah, it's cooler. A beach? I don't like sand, actually. I don't like the beach. I'd rather go to a swimming pool, of course. Can you whistle? Yes, I can whistle with my mouth. I can whistle with my fingers. And I still can't do this, but I can whistle when I need to scream at, you know, when I need to do something, I can whistle with that. Siblings, as you know, one sister, Andy, my favorite, because she's the only one. But I have a lot of uh, sisters um, uh, of different, I have my sisters, my women's sisters, my pals and buddies and my lover sisters. Surgeries. I had a cataract taken out last year. I had a hysterectomy because I had this giant, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I know this word in four languages and not English. Shit. Uh, where you have the baby, uterus. I had a hysterectomy today because my uterus was two kilos. <laughs> or no, one kilo and 800 grams. So they had to take it out and they had to slice it up to make sure nothing was in there and nothing was in there. And that's the end of that. But it, that's not a nice surgery. Shower or bath? So, shower, absolutely, but bath in a spa. And I love a spa. I love a spa, and I love the bath in the spa. Cold, hot, but in the house, in the daily life, shower, because who wants to sit in a bath full of yuck? Broken bones. Um, I had a broken leg when I tripped on a pyramid, actually, in, the, in Egypt. I made everybody get up at 6 in the morning to go to the pyramids because we only had one hour <laughs> before the plane. And, of course, I go to the pyramids and fall over them, and I break my leg. So I have to go in a buggy and see the pyramids, and then they have to lift me up onto the plane in one of those lifts and stick me on the plane with a broken leg. And they said it was very theatrical. All of uh, Air Egypt was looking at me. 
this girl going up in a broken leg. And oh, when I was little, I had a broken arm from uh, roller skating, nothing terrible. The worst pain, so if I didn't have a kid, the worst pain, maybe when I had my, uh, I don't know, worst pain, yeah, I don't know, I'm not committing. I love to sing. I had a great voice once and I lost it. Either age or no practice. I was in a choir. I was in a, I played the, well, that will come soon. But we sang because we were hippies. We all sang. Everybody sang. <laughs> we love, we, we sang everything. Um, parents still alive. No. My father died in 92 before he got a chance to meet Jan. Uh, we got married shortly after uh, his, uh, fun his funeral, and uh, my mother died a year ago. I didn't make a big deal over it on uh, this thing, but she died May 27th. Um, yeah. So, do I like camping? Well, that's a heated question, because me and Jan were renting a camper, going to Toronto. After Stitch Fest, we were going to take this camper that we were renting in Canada, and we were going to drive across Canada and North America and go down to California, see my niece, see lots of crochet ladies that were on the way, see all my relatives and everybody who lives somewhere. And the whole thing got canceled, so I don't know if I'm a camper, but I do not like going camping, because I feel like a refugee in Lebanon. I don't like it. So I'm not a big camper unless it's um, like a Bedouin tent with servants. <laughs> I don't like sleeping on the ground. I don't like washing out of a lake. Ain't me. Don't like it. What are you binge watching? Hmm. I didn't think of that. What am I binge watching? So it's the two upsetting things. I'm watching The Plot Against America by uh, Philip Roth, which is... Uh, yeah, it's uh, what would have happened if uh, if Hitler would have gotten into uh, if him. Uh, look it up. It's if the United States would have been joined or embraced the politics of what was going on in Germany in the Second World War. So it's a what if scenario. It's it was a great book. Not such a great series, but we're watching it. We're watching Ozark, also upsetting, so I don't know where the ulcer is coming from, but all this upsetting stuff is quite <laughs> quite upsetting. So in between to take a break, I'm watching my favorite oldies but goodies cooking shows, and I love the Big Bang Theory. I can watch it forever, and I would like friends, just anything to just uh, calm me down because I uh, it, it's... It, it, it's not so much the news that's going on, but uh, the television is a reflection somehow of society and everybody's bad. <laughs> so you have to watch comedy. Got to watch comedy. Somebody said, my sister told me to, down, to get uh, My Brilliant Friend. So I have that. It's Italian and I don't know if it's good or bad, but I will watch it. And uh, those kind of things. So uh, when, when I'm with Jan, we have to watch like the important, uh, serious uh, stuff. And by myself, I watch Easy Light. And if anybody has Easy Light funny, that's what I need doing while I'm doing all my... You should see this house when I'm doing all my crafty stuff. I wrote the first act of a play this morning, by the way. So, pumpkin pie or pecan pie? Pecan pie, 100%, absolutely. Pets. Oh, pets is my tragedy. I always had cats. I always loved cats. I adore cats. My mother had a cat. My father, well, we had a cat. I left. I always had cats. Two cats, two and a half, three cats. Yeah, you love... Oh, here's Andy Como. No. Is that Andy Como? Okay, we might have to hurry it up there because I've got to hear him. And anyway, we're up to the end of it. So pets, yeah. but Jan is allergic to cats, as you all know. So now we can't have any cats, but I'm always adopting cats from outside. They're not allowed to come in the house. I feed them. The pregnant women cats, I always feed in solidarity with them. So they come every morning and uh, they eat and then they go and it's fine because at least I'm doing my bit for the cats. 
do I play an instrument? Yes, I played 12 years classical guitar and then I didn't like it anymore. And I was a uni music major in university, but ah, it wasn't my thing. I wanted to play the piano, but I didn't because it was too expensive than a guitar or some crazy reason like that. So I missed that one. Did I ever ride a horse? Yes, several times. Not, not again. And never. I don't. I, I don't like. I, I, I'm not. I'm not a cowboy. I'm a New Yorker, as I keep repeating. <laughs> and who do I tag? I don't know. Uh, Rosie, uh, if you want to do it, uh, Rosie M of Nona. Um, who else? Uh, Everybody rose. Rose likes crochet. If your name is Rose, you're telling me that. Um, I'm gonna. Who? Who? who hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, I don't know, Debbie. If you did it, I don't know. Uh, my mind went blank. Who feels like doing it? If you're having fun doing it, uh, do it because it's fun. You know, you sit up and you piece. <laughs> Do you like hot dogs with ketchup on lettuce? It's a funny question. Not going to tell you very much about me, but you do know my big Hershey bar secret now. Okay, so we're just going to take all the cast of West Side Story is all out of work. The old cast and the new cast. We're really uh, wor not worried. We're not worried about them, but too bad because they did a lot of work. So what do I have here? Isolation. Yeah, we talked about isolation. I'm not isolated. I'm very busy all day long. Um, hi to uh, Bonnie. I saw your thing the other day with your little egg. Did you see a strawberry Bonnie? She made a, a dinosaur and an egg like little Jurassic Park. <laughs> very, very cute. Hi, sweetie. Hi, honey. And one last question, if anybody wants to <laughs> answer me. Did anybody, anybody out there finish the 2019 Unraveled Mitten blanket? Because I have not seen one finished. Not Terry, not anybody. I didn't see anybody's Unraveled Mitten finished. I still have 12 left made, 12 to do. I didn't see a finished one. So if you finished one, pop it on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm Jackie Lubeck and also hooking in good company. So I don't know, because um, sometimes I post as me and sometimes I post as the channel. And I'm going to watch Andrew Cuomo. Cuomo. So mwah, to everybody, uh, happy hooking. Yeah, bye.